Hi, this is Amanda from Barocco's Knit Bits, and today I'll be demonstrating how to knit in the round using two circular needles. Before I get started, I wanted to talk a little bit about your needle choices for this type of project. When you're using two circulars, you want to use two needles that are the same size. So I have two size 8 needles here because that'll give me the right gauge with Remix. Um, I'm using a one plastic needle and one bamboo needle, and the only reason I'm doing that is because I want you to be able to see which needle I'm knitting with during any point in the demonstration. But under normal circumstances, I would always recommend that you use like two bamboo needles or two plastic needles just so that your gauge will stay the same when you move from needle to needle. But for today, we're just going to go ahead and use two that are different so it's easier to see. Using two circulars is perfect for things that have a very small diameter tube in them, such as sleeves on a child's cardigan or a pair of socks or something that's pretty narrow. Um, it's a great alternative to double points if you don't really care for knitting on those. You okay, so I just cast on 16 stitches here onto my bamboo needle, and that's going to be the total number of stitches that I'll be joining into the round. But before I go ahead and join them into the round, I need to transfer half of them onto my second needle. So I'm going to slip eight stitches purlwise from the bamboo needle onto the gray one. Six, seven, eight. So now I have half on one needle, half on the other. Then you want to slide both of them down onto the cords instead of the thicker part of each of the circular needles. And I always like to lie my stitches down on a flat surface like a table or something before I join in the round just to make sure that everything is set to go. Um, the last stitch that I cast on was over here and you can see that my working yarn is hanging off of that part. Make it a little separate so it's easier to see. And the first stitch that I will knit in the new round is going to be this stitch here. So that's going to be the one that I knit when I join my stitches into the round. So because I know that I'm going to knit this stitch first and then continue down that way, I know that the bamboo needle is the one that I'm going to knit with first. So what I want to do is slide my stitches up the needle until they're on the needle part. And I'm going to want to make sure that the that stitch that I was my first cast on stitch is going to be the first one that I knit. So you want to get it ready and you want to get your working yarn pretty close so that it'll be easy to knit the first stitch. So then go ahead and knit it and make sure that you don't use your tail but that you use the yarn coming off of your ball and knit it pretty tight so that it will keep that join close and not get too loose of tension. After I knitted that first stitch, I'm just going to go ahead and knit all the following stitches on the bamboo needle. Go. And then here's my last one. Okay, so I just finished all of the stitches that were on the bamboo needle. And because I have finished this one, I know that I'll be moving to the gray one next. So I'm going to go ahead and slide these stitches back onto the cord. And since this is the side that my working yarn is coming off, I know that this stitch will be the first one that I use on my gray needle. So I'll go ahead and slide it in so that that stitch will be my first one. Okay, so there's my stitches ready to go. I'll get my working yarn untangled from the other circular needle there. And you want to go ahead and knit that first stitch just like we did before, pulling it pretty tight so that the join stays nice and snug. And then you want to go ahead and knit across this needle as well, just like we did with the bamboo one. Okay, so there's the last one. So now I just finished the gray needle, and I can go ahead and slide the stitches back onto their cord. My working yarn is hanging off of this end, so I know that this stitch over here on the bamboo needle will be the next one that I work. Go ahead and slide my stitches back onto it. And same process again, just want to go ahead and knit that first stitch. Okay. 
Well, I knitted a few more rounds just to show you what the tube is going to start looking like the further you go. Everything's looking pretty good. So that's basically all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Bye.